Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam, and today we will learn how to write ultrasound reports regarding gastric pathologies. We will look at sample reports of common stomach pathologies examined on ultrasound. The reports will be about hypertrophic pyloric stenosis, H. pylori gastritis, gastric bezoar, and gastric ulcer. You will learn how to write the findings and the impression for these cases. Let's start with our first report, which is about hypertrophic pyloric stenosis. The report starts with the patient information. This patient is an infant aged 6 weeks, male. After the name, age, and date, we write the clinical indication. The indication here is non-bilious projectile vomiting after feeds. Evaluate for pyloric stenosis. Next, we write the exam type. Focused Upper Abdominal Ultrasound. Let's move on to the findings. In this case, the liver, gallbladder, spleen appear unremarkable. Now we write the findings of the stomach. The pyloric muscle wall thickness is increased. It is 4.8 millimeters. The normal thickness should be less than 3 millimeters. The pyloric channel length is also increased, measuring 19 millimeters. The normal length is less than 15 millimeters. The pyloric canal appears elongated and narrowed. Target and cervix signs are visualized in transverse and longitudinal planes, respectively. No gastric contents observed passing through the pyloric channel during dynamic imaging over several minutes. The duodenum appears collapsed distal to the pylorus. Other findings. No evidence of free fluid or other upper abdominal abnormalities. Now we can write the impression, which includes the main finding and diagnosis. Findings consistent with hypertrophic pyloric stenosis, marked thickening and elongation of the pyloric muscle. So this is an example of an ultrasound report regarding hypertrophic pyloric stenosis. Now we move on to the next case, which is H. pylori gastritis. This is the patient information. Age, 10-year-old. Clinical history, recurrent upper abdominal pain and nausea. These are the findings of the stomach. The gastric wall appears mildly thickened, particularly along the antral and prepyloric regions, measuring approximately 5.5 millimeters in maximal thickness. The wall layering is preserved, but shows increased ecogenicity of the submucosal layer, suggestive of mucosal inflammation. There is mild hyperemia of the gastric mucosa on color Doppler evaluation. No focal mass or ulcer crater is visualized sonographically. Small amount of retained fluid and echogenic debris noted in the gastric lumen, likely representing mucus and ingested material. Liver, gallbladder, pancreas, and spleen appear within normal limits for age. No free fluid in the peritoneal cavity. Bowel loops are unremarkable. No evidence of obstruction or intussusception. Here is the impression. Mild gastric wall thickening and mucosal hyperemia involving the antral region, findings that may be seen with gastritis, including that due to Helicobacter pylori infection. Recommend clinical correlation and confirmatory testing such as H. pylori stool, antigen, or urea breath test. Now we will look at a case of gastric bezoar. A bezoar refers to indigestible content in the stomach which can cause symptoms such as bloating, nausea, vomiting, and may lead to small bowel obstruction. In this case, the patient suffers from epigastric fullness, early satiety, nausea, and intermittent vomiting. History of gastric surgery five years ago. These are the findings. Liver, normal in size and echo texture, no focal lesions, intrahepatic ducts, not dilated. Gallbladder and biliary tree, gallbladder well distended with no calculi or wall thickening. Common bile duct measures 4 millimeters. 
pancreas. Visualized portions appear normal. No focal masses or ductal dilation. Spleen. Normal in size and echo texture. These are the findings in the stomach. Within the body and antrum of the stomach, there is a large, well-defined, intraluminal, echogenic mass with a dense posterior acoustic shadow and mottled internal echo texture producing a whirled or speckled appearance. The lesion is non-mobile with changes in patient position and does not demonstrate vascularity on color. Small bowel. Limited evaluation shows no evidence of obstruction or abnormal dilation. This is the impression, large intragastric echogenic mass with mottled internal pattern and posterior acoustic shadowing, findings highly suggestive of a gastric bezoar. No sonographic evidence of gastric wall perforation or obstruction at the time of examination. Correlation with endoscopy is recommended for confirmation and possible removal. This report is of a gastric ulcer. The patient is a 48-year-old male. Clinical indication, epigastric pain, nausea, intermittent dyspepsia, suspected peptic ulcer disease. These are the stomach findings. The stomach is adequately distended with water and cellulose contrast, providing clear delineation of the gastric wall layers. The gastric body demonstrates a focal mucosal defect along the lesser curvature, measuring approximately 0.9 cm in length and 0.4 cm in depth. The lesion appears as a localized hypoechoic mucosal depression or crater. The adjacent gastric wall is mildly thickened, but wall stratification is preserved. No perigastric fluid collection or lymphadenopathy is noted. Liver, gallbladder, pancreas, spleen, and kidneys are within normal limits on limited survey. No ascites or other upper abdominal abnormalities identified. Here is the impression, focal gastric wall defect in the body of the stomach, consistent with a gastric ulcer, likely benign in appearance. No sonographic evidence of perforation or perigastric collection. Correlation with upper GI endoscopy is recommended for direct mucosal visualization and biopsy to exclude malignancy. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more imaging videos.